cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Uh, today I have some uh, my favorite fish again, uh, Wen Zhong Yi. I think it's called white horse mackerel or something like that. Yeah, ikan bentong is it? Uh, anyway, uh, this is my favorite. I, I like small fish also. Yeah, beside the very big ones. Uh, this fish is very the, the meat is very sweet and tender. You can you can pan fry, you can deep fry, you can also steam. They all will taste really good. I, I actually uh, I, I like one particular way of uh, steaming this fish, which is using the tauchu, yeah, the uh, fermented soya bean. And I always prefer to use the salted one rather than the sweet one. Yeah, there's two types of tauchu, sweet and salted. I prefer the salted one for this dish. And we're going to prepare some uh, uh, minced garlic and some minced ginger and a bit of uh, chili, just to give it a little bit of kick. Yeah. Um, we're going to steam it first. So, of course, first of all, you need to prep the fish. Alright, so after washing the fish, what you do is, uh, you do need to uh, remove the kidney, yeah, the fish kidney. Some people ask me, what is the fish, where is the fish kidney? Actually, it's in the middle. It's hiding in the center of the bones here. Some uh, dark uh, blood stain, yeah? That is actually the kidney of the fish. And that is the source of fishiness. So you do need to, you can use some brush or some something to uh, just remove and wash off the blood, yeah? That will help to remove um, the fishiness from the fish. Not difficult at all. So this fish is very small, so I did not make any slits on the fish body, but you can, if, if it's a, especially if it's a bigger one, to, to ease the steaming process. Next thing is we want to marinate the fish with a little bit of fine salt. So then, you, of course, you heat up the steamer until it is uh, at least 100, 100 degrees Celsius and above. Then we can put in the fish. You can put a bit of ginger on top of the fish if you like. This one, I'm not worried because I know the fish is very fresh. And we're going to steam it for probably about 8 minutes, yeah, 6 to 8 minutes. The next thing we are going to quickly to make the sauce, yeah. Give it a little bit of oil. Once the oil is heated up, we can put in the ginger and also garlic. Uh, don't put in the chili powder too early, later it will be too spicy. Just going to put it towards the end. Oops, one force in. And the fermented yeah, soya bean. Let me check the focus. Okay. Wow, immediately it's very fragrant. Ginger, garlic and also fermented soya bean. This three things you add together, you can use it on anything. Fish, meat, anything at all. It will taste good. If you have, if you have some uh, fresh coriander roots, you can also put it in. You don't have to brown the garlic, seriously. We just want to remove the uh, uh, this sauteing process. You only want to remove the earthiness from the fermented uh, bean and bring out the fragrance from the garlic together with the ginger. Next thing, ooh, super fragrant already. We're gonna add in some filtered water. Let me tune down the fire a little bit. We're going to give it some seasoning. Oh, look at this. So easy, right? <laughs> First of all, I'm going to give it a little bit of light soy sauce. A little bit of dark soy sauce. This is more for the color. Few dashes of white pepper. You can put in a bit of sugar, no problem. A lot of my viewer doesn't like to see Appa putting in sugar into the dishes. <laughs> so I won't put lah. Uh, we can actually give it a little bit of salt. Alright. And our steamed fish sauce is ready. In, trust me, it tastes really good. Oh, I still have some garlic, uh, sorry, chili padi. Let me off the fire. And I'm going to put in the chili party right now. We don't cook the chili party too much. If not, the whole sauce will be very spicy. I love it. I love spiciness, but my family is going to complain. <laughs> oh, 
All right, the fish is ready. Let me open the fish. Oh, look at the steam. Let's uh, the steam to uh, release first. Let's look at our fish. Oh, look at the fish. Look at it. Oh, look at the fish. So beautiful. And we have some steam fish water there that we are going to remove it. That is also the source of fishiness, okay? All right, here's our fish. And I'm going to bungeel, yeah? Oh, the fish with the sauce. So Now this sauce, you can use it on any kind of steamed fish. I guarantee it will taste really good. All right, that's how simple it is. So I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook page, you click like and follow button. Follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.